Now, time and space are great creators of illusion, and that's what they are, illusions. Far away, we see stars, we say they're billions of light years away. Hold on. In that form, they exist. When we decode them here, they're centimeters away, in effect. And it's just, again, waveform into hologram. Space, illusion. Uh, communicating, they say, you know, particles can communicate billions of uh, miles apart. How? Because the billions of miles are illusion. It's one energy field reacting to itself instantly because it's one energetic field. And, you know, when you look at time and space, when you put a, like a computer game into a computer, all the information is on one disk at the same time, right from the start to the end. But you put it in the computer and that plays that out scene by scene. And as the scenes pass, you perceive that as the passage of time. And as um, you look at the screen and its depth and its, its uh, perspective, you, you, you see that as space. But all it is is information on a disk being decoded into that form by the computer. perception of time when you're watching a DVD only is dictated by where you are in the DVD. So when you're watching here, your past is there and your future is there. When you're watching there, your past is there, your future is there. And yet it's only dictated by that part of the information field that you are decoding at that time. There is only the now 
that which is all. There is no time and space within that dazzling darkness. It's illusion. It's a perception of time that we have. And this is a great line. The present moment is the only moment available to us and it is the door to all other moments. Why? Because there is only that moment. And the more we get pulled into the future, fear, more we get pulled into the past, regret, we're getting pulled out of the now into some illusory past and future. And what the left brain does is it takes information in that uh, now and it puts it in a sequence. And that sequence appears to us to be the passage of time. We're back to the DVD. Einstein said, when you are courting a nice girl, an hour seems like a second. When you sit on a red hot cinder, a second seems like an hour. That's relativity. Relativity is what? Your perception of how you decode reality. Um, Time doesn't exist, clocks exist. Time is just an agreed upon construct. We have taken uh, distance, one rotation of the earth and one orbit of the sun and divided it up into segments, then given those segments labels. Why it has uh, its uses, it's been programmed to live our lives by this construct as if it was real. We have confused our sharing construct with something that is tangible and thus it has become, we have become its slave. We have a, a, a line that doesn't exist in the ocean, that's tomorrow, that's yesterday. It's not even bloody straight, look at it. And yet time controls ours. This is a, 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 like a, another newspaper article. Prison of the mind. Prisoners could serve 1,000 year sentence in eight hours. Future biotechnology could be used to trick a prisoner's mind into thinking they've served a 1,000 year sentence, a group of scientists have, have said. Why? Because it's all an illusion. Um, University in London has done a study on time and found that when great uh, sports people are, are playing, they go into another relationship with time where they decode it to be slower than the rest of us do. That's why, you know, we, we see balls going across a tennis court and you think, how did he get that back? But he's not seeing it in the same speed we are. I experienced this myself when I was in sport on one occasion. And so you have these, you know, people from the so-called past which, uh, which seem to be ahead of their time, like da Vinci and Giordano Bruno, and uh, all those things that da Vinci came up with 500 years before they were shown to, to work, and people say they were, they were hundreds of years ahead of their time. They weren't. They weren't. They were beyond time. They were able to access that level of awareness beyond the program, thus beyond time and space, and that's where they got that knowledge. It doesn't matter if it's the Stone Age here or now. If you access that, that awareness, you can get that inspiration. The power of the heart, love, intuition, and intelligence. We've got this chakra system, this vortex system. This is the key one, the master one, which relates to the physical heart. And throughout history, the heart has been said to be the center of human power, and it is. Uh, the Heart Math Institute in the United States has done massive research on the true nature of the heart, both the physical heart and the energetic heart, same thing in the end. It's the body's most powerful electromagnetic field projected from the heart. The brain obeys the heart. More nerves go from the heart to the brain than go the other way. And the heart has brain cells because it is a massive form of intelligence. Thinking intelligence, innate intelligence. Knowing intelligence, thinking intelligence. Programmed intelligence, see through the program intelligence. And this is what they say. There is also new data suggesting that the heart's field is directly involved in the intuitive perception through its coupling to an energetic information field outside the bounds of time and space. And that's why you get intuition that knows far more than this thinks it knows because you're accessing a much higher level of awareness when you come from that point. Open your heart and connect with all that is. Thinking, knowing. And that's why they want to shut the heart down through fear, through anxiety, through depression, through worry. So we don't use that access to the great forever. The, uh, the, the, the um, research at the HeartMath Institute says that when the heart, the brain, and the central nervous system are in harmony, the person moves to a higher level of awareness. Now we are the masters of our faith. Of our 
resistance Forming my mind and it suddenly a fearlessness Looking for gamma rays, vehement ways and violence One of me nowadays And the convention of oneself makes me rearrange things that I've been dealt over the rainbow, there's just no light and it goes to show But my whole life I've been wandering through darkest tunnels, motherfucker And I can't be slow now See the light in my eyes when it glows, motherfucker You know it's almost over now Beyond your mind is a place that sits and always forever shines the monster, And the unless monster. you see through the illusion And things that snare your mind The monster is my face Now, we are the masters of our fate. 